Hey YouTube, it's Adamix20 and I'm down here on the floor with uh, a tape measure, some tape and a couple of magnets because I wanted to show that it, uh, an accelerated magnet doesn't actually provide more force to an opposing magnet. Um, where the force actually comes from is the electromagnetic force. Now, what I have here is a couple of magnets and um, they're really weak and uh, a tape measure and uh, I'm going to point out a foot here. This is 12 inches right here or a little bit here is uh, 30 uh, centimeters. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, I'm showing here, okay. This is, this is to show that uh, um, in that uh, uh, Callaway V gate system how um, knowledge monger is uh, actually incorrect. Well, I know that just pushing the magnet up against it is only going to push it so far, and then if I push against it, it's going to um, appear to add energy. It's, it appears to add acceleration energy. That's, that's not true. See, what's happening here is um, <clears throat> the compression of the electromagnetic field. Like I was talking about uh, in the video I'm responding to. The field will compress, uh, bands might even break, and uh, it looks like you're getting more force, but what, what you're actually doing is, see, I'll get closer, and then the compression releases. See how I got really close that time? And this isn't slate of hand at all. I mean, this is just regular magnets, and uh, that la landed around six inches or um, uh, fifteen, around fifteen centimeters. So uh, there we got about uh, seventeen, uh, sixteen, sixteen centimeters again, close to six inches. Now watch what happens again. This isn't slate of hand. Watch what happens when I put the fields up really close and compressed. They're gonna see. It's already almost past seven. You're not actually getting uh, um, energy from acceleration. Whoops! That didn't work. That didn't work out either. The only force in the magnets is the electromagnetic field. Still sticking around uh, six inches. Still sticking around six inches. Uh, f Fifteen centimeters for my. Uh, non-United States measurement folk still around the same same distance and I'll butt them up really close and let go try to and not working got stuck to something that time I don't know they're just being a asinine Come on. So anyways, the the biggest problem I'm going to I'm going to find here is that these magnets are in an open system. <clears throat> the uh magnets in the Callaway V gate are in a closed system. They're not the um they're not going to um be allowed to rotate. So again, I'll try and I'll try and push it really far now. And um uh, Okay, that's that's about three inches, um, eight centimeters. Okay, now I'm just gonna come up really close, and um, that's about six centimeters, two and a half inches. Again, and uh, there it's about three inches. And uh, that was moving a lot, a, a lot faster. So it looks like the the uh, um, acceleration added energy, but it didn't. It didn't. See what happened is the compression, the rubber band effect of the magnetic field compressed was allowed to compress more. And. Uh, 
not working now. Get really close. Get really close. There we go. You can see, um, you can try this for yourself. All you need is a couple of magnets. You can do it yourself. A couple of magnets, a piece of tape to put a, a starting line and a tape measure. It's a really simple experiment to show that accelerated magnets, the acceleration of a magnet doesn't add force to another magnet. What What is occurring is the compression of the magnetic radiation bands. They will compress, they will break, and then when they uh, uncompress, they, they will release. So acceleration doesn't add force, as I was trying to state. Instead, the only force being added in Clancer's model is his resistive force, which I still wonder if it can or cannot be automated. Understand, though, that as a resistive force, it needs to be overcome by the force provided uh, uh, by the, the, the mass and acceleration of the uh, um, spindle. So keep that in mind. Acceleration is not a force added. Uh, resistances. Thank you.